Alright, in this video we're going to start looking at factoring. We're going to have an equation like this one up here and we're trying to solve for x. So we got to do factoring. In the previous videos we looked at expanding out terms. This is kind of the opposite. We're taking things and make, you know, putting the brackets into the problem. So what do we got? We have 2x squared plus 4x equals 0. So factoring means taking something out that they have in common. Something I can take from both. Something I can divide both equations by. And bringing it out. So in this case, I look. Well, this is a 2, this is a 4. So I could divide both of these by 2. I could bring the 2 out. So if I you think of that, I bring 2 out from both. I'm going to put it outside of brackets of this. So if this was divided by 2, what is left over? x squared. If this was divided by 2, what's left over? 2x. And we still have 0 on this side because we just brought out the 2. You can think, the main idea is when you've done factoring, if you then did expanding after, you get back to the original equation. That's a good check. If you ever try expanding it back out and don't get the original result, you've done something wrong. So this, ooh, 2x squared, 4x, ah, I'd be back to where I started. But I'm not done. Is there anything else I can bring out? Anything else they have in common? Well, an x. They both have at least one x, so I can bring out an x. So what does that mean? Yeah, I keep saying bring out. You can also think divide. So if I divide this one by x, well, x squared divided by x gives me x. And 2x divided by x is 2. So I've actually factored this out. If I multiply this back in, I'd get my original result. And now this lets me actually solve for x. Because what I have is something times something equaling to 0. Hmm. Well, let's think about that for a second. If this is 0, that means either this has to be 0, or this has to be 0, or both. So if I had a times b equals 0, well, either a has to be 0, or b has to be 0, or possibly both. So, that means either I can write two different possible solutions. Either 2x equals 0, which let's work through. 2x equals 0, well if I want to get x on its own, just like before, I'm dividing both sides by 2. Thing is, that cancels, give me x. What's 0 divided by 2? Well, it's still 0. So that is one of my solutions for x. Let's see if we can get something here. So I can now say x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, again, I want to get x on its own. Subtract 2 from both sides. So I get x equals minus 2. Guess what? These are both valid solutions. x can be either one of these. In fact, if you took these values and plugged it in, well, 2 to 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. Oh, it works. Whereas if I plug in minus 2, if I did that, well, let's do it right here, off to the side. 2 times minus 2 squared plus 4 times minus 2. Should equal 0 according to our equation there. And we said this is a solution, so it better work out. Well, this is 2 times minus 2 squared is 4. Plus 4 times... Ooh, made that a little too close. Let's do some erasing. Ooh. Messy erasing. So plus 4 times minus 2. Leaving that one alone. Does it equal 0? We're going to find out. We hope so. I could have left that off and calculated it, but we had 8 and minus 8. Does indeed equal 0. That is indeed a solution. Another quick way to check if you have a solution. Go back, plug it in. So that is how we factor and solve this equation.